Welcome to the Snake Pit. What's up, y'all? Thanks for joining me back on my channel. Let's talk about some buttstock cleaning kits. Yeah, that's right. We got a little unfinished business in regards to this retro A1 style build here. This also go for the A2 as well, but they incorporated these. Nice little hatch with a cavity inside here so you could house a cleaning kit because that was one problem the myth of this wonder rifle not having to be cleaned you gotta clean clean and do maintenance All right. so let's go on over to the workbench I'll show you the up close of of what's inside here let you know where you can get these things pretty cheap too and talk about original versus repop is it worth it that type of thing let's do this all right so I've already got the door unlatched <laughs> a little bit of a cheat but all you're gonna see I couldn't get a good camera angle you just see my sausage fingers in the way but there's that little latch right there that type of deal pretty simple pretty straightforward same thing on the a2 the butt plates a little bit different on the a2 these uh, A1s, they crack real easy. I actually have a A2 spare backup for this one because that was a common field retrofit. So, you know, that's another topic, I guess. And inside, you get the kit all stuffed. So let's just take a look at what's inside this kit. All right. And just to show you the numbers... And this one is a repop. It's not an original. I got this one from Brownells. They don't sell this one on Brownells anymore. I did find, a, I think, a Tapco version, which has pretty good reviews over on Optics Planet. And then Delton also found one. The one on Optics Planet was $16.99. The one on Delton was actually $11.99. But check them out for yourself. And check out the shipping and stuff because I didn't I didn't try clicking and adding to my cart or anything like that so inside these kits these things are a pain to pack up to get them to fit in your buttstock there's a lot of stuff in here alright that's it so the only thing I'm missing is there's actually a little bottle I think it's like a half ounce or something like that a little plastic bottle it did come with my kit I took it out and put it in a really safe place and um, I have yet to relocate that safe place those bottles are kind of chintzy anyway some cleaning patches you have a nylon brush and you got your your standard cleaning brushes here and this is metal um, the tool to run your patches through and of course all your rods and this one does set up into this T fashion here so that you can you know work it as needed so there it is pretty basic kit you probably can build something similar if you wanted to if you're looking for kind of the original authentic look just to have in in your retro build for funsies this is a great way to go and uh, getting it into the a1 stock with the little oil bottle it's possible it's uh, not easy that's why I put mine in a safe place the a2 stocks a little bit longer a little bit easier but this one has just lived in my a1 stock so if you go on optics planet to get that 1699 one it looks like there's only a few left right now there's a code out there kb32 tac yeah it's a coda boy code get you five percent off so that's spelled kb32 tac i'll put that down in the uh, link below as well and the Delton one, 
you know, it's just a good starting point. Just go over there and check it out. I don't know who manufactures that one, you know, quality-wise. This one here is pretty good quality from Brownells. I wish they still made this one. The one they're selling now is, just comes in a black canvas bag, but it looks like it's very similar stuff. And it just doesn't have that old-school look to it. There it is. Real quick one there. And with that, we are out of here. Boom.